Our next story is about misplaced priorities, a.k.a. Pakistan. On the one hand, you have the PIA, the Pakistan International Airlines. It's the flag carrier of the country. But right now, it's carrying no one. Why? Because the airline cannot pay for fuel. On the other hand, is the Pakistan Army. And guess what they're doing? Testing out their missiles. I'm talking about this one, the Gauri Weapons System. Pakistan's army tested this missile on Tuesday. They say the test was successful. Soon, everyone lined up to congratulate the army, including the prime minister and the president. And why not? It's not like there is a crippling financial crisis in the country. We'll tell you why this attitude is a problem. But first, some details about Gauri. It's a medium-range ballistic missile. It was developed and tested in 1998. The Gauri can carry conventional and nuclear warheads. Its range is between 1,300 and 1,500 kilometers. It's a rather old missile system. It travels with a group of support vehicles. Without them, this missile cannot be launched. And in a battlefield, that's not ideal. You need a missile system that is nimble, that is difficult to track and attack, not a convoy of vehicles. In fact, Pakistan doesn't rely much on Gauri anymore. Their new pick is the Shaheen missile. So why test the old one now? The army says it's all about preparedness. A similar test was done last week as well. The Abba Beel missile was test fired. Now this is more advanced. It has a range of more than 2,200 kilometers. It can also carry multiple warheads. The Abba Beel is important for Pakistan's deterrence. Experts say Pakistan cannot compete with India's missile systems. So this missile is like their best bet. It can hit several targets at the same time. Of course, testing all these missiles is expensive. But that's never stopped Pakistan. For them, the military is paramount. Pakistanis can go hungry, but the army must be well-funded. Such misplaced priorities have landed Pakistan in this crisis. We mentioned that their airline, the national carrier, at the beginning, the PIA, they've cancelled 322 flights in 10 days. Apparently, there is no fuel. Pakistan's state oil company has cut off the PIA. They want the airline to pay the dues first. Just one problem, though. The airline does not have the money. In the last financial year, the PIA was in the red. They lost $291 million, and the losses are not just recent. Since 2012, PIA's losses are worth $7 billion. $7 billion in 11 years. Losses. It is bleeding money. That's why Pakistan's government has decided to sell it off. They want to privatize the PIA, but at this rate, there may not be a company left to sell. Because cancelling 300 flights is not a sign of distress, it is a sign of collapse. Thousands of passengers have been affected by this. The PIA has not even given them an alternative. Yet the missile tests continue. It sums up why Pakistan is where it is. Their focus was always on India, on the imaginary threat from across the border. The fact is, India has never attacked Pakistan. The attacks have always come from the other side. So Pakistan's arms race was both unnecessary and costly. It's one of the reasons why the country is broke. Instead of correcting that mistake, Pakistan is doubling down. If only passengers could ride missiles instead of planes, this wouldn't be a problem for them now.